Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to the RimWorld, where things are starting to look nice. We have tons of colonists, we are starting to bring in the food, we have plenty of meals, we have some colonists, we have some prisoners which we should be able to start recruiting now. Stomp, which I'm just going to sell off, sorry mate, but... You're a feline herder. What on earth am I supposed to do with a feline herder? I'm sorry, mate. I just can't think of what I can do with a feline herder. You've got to go. But, nonetheless, we're chugging along. we got this food coming along nicely. We're going to have to get this outside, but certainly for now, this is much better. Um, the boom rats are starting to explode, which is, oh, actually, to be honest with you, only going to make our life easier. Um, the only problem is that they might actually burn the trees down before we can use them. But then, for fortunately, there's not much in the way of flammable material floating around because the boom rats have eaten all the plants. Oh, we're actually starting to get percentage chances of recruiting. There is actually a good chance this might happen. Research, stone cutting, what should we do next? Um, hydroponics, uh, we don't need at this point. Pneumatic picks wouldn't be... Actually, pneumatic picks, because we are doing a lot of tunneling. Let's get that researched. So there we go. Right, Tigress. For everything you have done, you get the first bedroom. So let's deconstruct your sleeping spot. And then when you're sleepy, you go and sleep in a proper bed. How's that for a reward, hey? Eh? A bed. You know, with springs and made out of wood and everything. And thinking of wood, let's get rid of these doors. We don't need them anymore. Okay, now... This is chugging along nicely. We've got the, uh, the meat coming in. Um, I just want to get these bedrooms set up before I do anything else. But I, what we can do here is um, we can get some power sorted out. So that would be a power conduit across there and down there, say, and we will have structure, we'll have a door there, we will have a standing lamp there, and we will have a bed, because we're that sophisticated there. Alright, Bear is actually getting a... Considering his really, really low social, he's not doing that bad. A 7% or a 6% chance will crop up. Oh, my. I'm getting worried about these boom rats going boom. Oh, dear. But that one, that one's fresh. That one can go in the pot. In fact, any ones of them that survive can go into the pot and we can eat them. Excellent. There you go, Tigress. How was that? How did you enjoy sleeping in a bed? Was that good? I bet it was. Okay, so what else can we put in here? What we need is we need another standing lamp down here. And we'll put one more up there when we get a chance. What are these happening? Medieval Farmo. A trade ship is passing by. Who is our social person if you're doing the ward ring barrow you are the person that talks on the radio barrow where are you oh there you are you're off hunting okay drop off that corpse and then come talk to the arms dealers good man right no 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 there Cool Lupo's Flying Hemborium. You're not interested in uranium. We got loads of uranium. We can't sell it to anyone. Okay. You know what? People, weapons. We have weapons. We have lots of really crappy weapons. So let's get rid of those to start off with. Okay. And what can we buy from you? Not that much better to be honest with you but well uh, I suppose we can have the M24 that will come in handy later on and we'll give that to whoever has got the best um, weapon skill that's good okay so uh, character 
Um, you have a shooting of four, Barrow. Um, Ichabod, you have a shooting of one. Tigress. And you have a shooting of four. Currently, that's the best. Barrow, where are we? Oh, we've done Barrow. Who are we missing? Who are we missing? Where are you? Galga, there you are. Um, what are you like? Hey, you have a shooting of three. So, Tigress, you are equipped with a pistol. So, I want you to equip that M24. There we go. Well done. You get back to making those meals because we really need them now. Excellent. Right, nearly got these two done. When we have those two done, we will make the prisoner area. That's looking good, looking good. Who is our miner? Who is our miner? Our miner is nobody. We could actually use a bit more priority on mining at the moment, couldn't we? I don't want Tigress to do it because she's doing our cooking. In fact, I think I'm going to bump the cooking up to one there. So that becomes your ultimate priority. And um, what else can we do? Barrow is our hunter. We don't really need hunting anymore. Actually, that's the wrong one. So let's get you up to two for mining. And let's try to remember to put that back later on. So that should get us two people doing the mining. Hey, marvelous. When we get those done, we will have a bit more mining. We will take out the corners of this and then we'll put some metal structure in place to make some bedrooms and make a, a lounge of some description. Yeah. I'm starting to worry now. I'm just starting to wonder what's going to go wrong because this is actually starting to go right. It's not going to last, you know, guys. It's just not going to last. The home region. Yeah, we've mostly got the home region we want, but let's just make 100% sure there. We've got everything. There we go. That's good. And just put that corner in there just in case there is a fire in that corner. But no, we're coming together here, aren't we? What's happened here? A group from the Sun's Tree are visiting the colony. Don't mind that one. Don't particularly care about that one. Plenty of food. Detected a cluster of cargo, cargo cards. Oh, we can sell those. So if somebody's got a moment, let's have those hauled back to the colony. Our, our tribesmen are called K, Alistair, and Van Driel. They're very posh names for tribesmen, aren't they? Right, boom rats. If you want to blow up, now is a good time to do it. Because we don't mind at this point. I'm actually thinking about this. It's time to start thinking about defences. So, what's going on here? Uh, proof of uh, passes by. Don't care. Do we have much in the way of metal? We have none whatsoever. Okay, let's get some mining up into place. Orders. Uh, mine. Let's get this metal out. There we go. Um, once they've done this little bit, let's do that little bit to get some metal. Let's get some defences across the bottom. And then, let's do this bit. But while I'm thinking about it. Structure, wood door there power power conduit like that like that we want standing lamps here and here and actually let's have one here as well and we want another door there by the looks of it let's have another door there another door there and we want some beds and our beds are in furniture. Oh, we've researched. 
What should we have next? Cremation would be useful. Strong doors would be useful. Strong doors. Let's have strong doors. That's going to take a while, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, let's let's do it anyway. Strong doors will help us. So we want a bed there, and we'll have a bed there soon. Um, this bed is unoccupied, isn't it? This bed is unoccupied. So Ichabod, as a reward for all your good work, have a bed. Wrong button. Let's deconstruct it. There we go. Right, you will sleep in that bed. That's good. And whoever's sleeping there, as a reward for all your good work, have a bed. Drupal, they, they they do like passing by here, don't they? I don't know what they see in the place, but they certainly see it. Okay, let's put a bed in here. And very soon, looks like we will have people sleeping in beds which is just going to cheer them up immensely like that you see enjoy your bed barrow you deserve it why has this not got any power uh oh uh oh uh oh group of pirates from the grey sledgehammers have dropped right on top of you they are attacking immediately there they are we have Will, who has a pistol. We have Mole, who... Uh, well, we have Unip, a booze king, who has a pistol. And we have Mole, who is an oaf, who has a pistol. They're igniting wood doors, which means he's going up here. Will you carry on doing that, my boy? And in the meantime, while I forget of thinking about it, let's get... Um, power, power conduit there. Oh, I think actually that we're running out of power, are we? Let's have a look. Yes, we've run out of power. We are actually using the contents of our power generator, which is not good. So we'll have to start looking at some other power. But we'll have to wait, unfortunately. But with uh, an interim measure, let's get rid of these. Let's turn that off. Turn that off. And turn that off. It means that corridor is in darkness. And sorry guys, you're going to lose one of your lights as well. But it gets us a bit of power back. That's good. Okay. First of all, let's slow this down. Tigris, where are you off to? Off to, doing, off to have some breakfast. That's good. Right. Okay, let's get you guys together. Um, let's do it like this actually and we'll draft you and let's get you guys by the door and in fact we need to get some defenses in place here really let's get you guys out here while there's still only a few people that's good there we go There's no accounting for stupidity. One of them has burst in and is attacking a door, and another one has set fire to a stall. And is now trying to attack the door out. Oh dear. They just don't make pirates like they used to anymore, do they? Okay, we got them. Right, we'll undraft for a sec. Let's get that fire put out. Excellent. Let's go have our breakfasts. Do what we need to do. Uh, we do. Has the other guy run off? The other guy has done the proverbial. Okay, let's get rid of these corpses. Uh, I forbid that one. And do they look like they have anything useful on them? No, this guy's wearing a shirt. That guy's wearing a T-shirt. So, Tigress, please be so kind as to get rid of this guy and Ichabod you don't haul do you no Galga though haul away if you would excellent and we'll unforbid those and someone will drag them back to the store when we have a moment actually thinking about that there is not much hauling going on we might probably oh grumpy Grumpy! We've got Grumpy back! Oh, I've missed you, man. I have missed you so very much. Okay, uh, five, 
seven. You are no longer our researcher, my friend, but you are going to be our hauler. And uh, yeah, let's just haul as a priority. Craft as a secondary one. Mine, if you're not hauling. And grow. No, no, leave that on a three. I think that'll do for now, actually. Um, uh, watering and doctoring and doctoring. Let's put those down to one for both of you guys, actually. And the same with repairing. So repairing at one. I am so pleased to see Grumpy back. I really am. But in the meantime, Grumpy needs a bed. So let's make him a bed. More precisely, let's make him a sleeping spot. There you go, Grumpy. Oh man, I've missed you so much. I really have. Really, really missed you, my mate Grumpy. I'm so glad to see you back. Now, if only we can get Jono. I will be so happy here, I've got to be honest with you. This is becoming a colony again. This is starting to work. This is great. Are we building that bed? Yes, we are building that bed. That is excellent. That's what I think we need to do here. Actually, what I'm thinking about it is that's rotting, but that can still go in the pot. Let's make a Let's make a wood forest. Let's make a, a growing zone. Let's make it, let's say, yay big. Um, orders, whole things. Let's get those stones and slag out of the way. And we will make that a tree zone. There we go. And that will, that will be self-maintaining in the long run. And while we're thinking about it, um, let's chop down this wood here. Get rid of it. No, nope, they're not grown up enough yet. Okay. There we go. Bear is starting to get some metal. We're starting to get nice. Local buffalo has gone mad. Okay, not a problem. Right, guys. We are at our 20 minutes. And I don't know about you, but this is starting to look like it's coming together. We have resources. We have bedrooms. We have Grumpy back. We have Grumpy back. I am so happy that we have gr we I have Grumpy back. Grumpyville is whole again. But that's enough for now. Thank you very much guys. This has been the Rimworld and this has been such a good episode. I've been Simon Parsons. Thank you. And good night. <laughs>